And welcome back to the show, everybody. Ruby, volume 6, chapter number 13. We're doing it our way. We rolling through on some grim now. Doing it our way. Plot relevance is here now. Silver rising drills and shit now. Bumblebees, the shit we gon' ship through. Doing it our way. You got the girl with the grim hand. And that girl named after ice cream. Cloaking shit to make your dreams come true. Doing it our way. The man's in the fucking building now. And she's overly fucking pissed now. Making flying monkey grim to come beat. You the fuck up our way. It's our way. The squad made it to Atlas. We did it our way. It's our way. Now the plot finna get fucked up. Cause the man's in the building. There you go. The one and the only. Let's do this for real now. See, you know, musical interlude aside, because, you know, because I got the golden pipes, you know what I'm saying? Homo. Is, this was everything that I thought it was. Yeah. We we need, we need, we need a sin defender and, 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 and Neo the one believe it. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. Like, yo, let me cloak this ship, fam. Hey, cloak the ship. Hey, yo, let me put on some different, let me change clothes, then whoop some ass, cause Ruby about to catch your L, baby, you just me, uh-uh, so you know what I'm saying, man, shout out to the, shout out to the Jigga man and the boy for real, you know what I mean, look, I don't know what none of that was, I couldn't even begin to describe whatever that was, but you, but you got send defender, send a pretty like, bitch, you made me catch an L, about to catch an L, hell yeah, and I'm like, Alright, that's fine. I'm like, I'm glad that we dedicated two seconds to, you know, that they on the move. We, I'm glad we dedicated two seconds again. Yes. Caroline Cordovan had a drill in the Atlas in the Atlas Megazord to pierce the motherfucking heavens. Did you really think we were going to get away without making a Gurren Lagann reference? Fuck no! Because that's what we do here. Okay? Gurren Lagann, motherfucker. What a drills, bitch! What it do? Drills. Holla at your boy. Drills. What else? Um, Of course, before Drills got involved and the beef was over, like I told you it was going to be. Super Mega Up, get motherfucking blast. No, no, hold up. Yeah. What, what, what do y'all know about this? Do, do I do the other one on this motherfucker? Was it like this? Was it like, oh shit, Cyclops took off his motherfucking eye beam, fuck a nigga up or something? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, no. Seriously. You knew that's what it was going to be. The thing is, is that in that same scene, even though we had a drill to pierce the heavens and the day was ultimately safe, we'll talk more about that. It's good to know that even though that is a win button, that because Ruby can't use it for real, it's not a for real win button yet. But will be, though. Will be. So, in other news, speaking of drills that pierce the heavens, everything in Ruby is motherfucking anime. I, I didn't know if you knew that, but you know that now. Everything in Ruby is fucking anime. She's sitting up here like... La la la, anime flashback. Let me call Jen. She's about to get fucked up. Game, she's still sick as fuck. And your mama had silver rice too. That's a plot point. We'll discuss at some point. Yeah, that's the thing. Some rolls in the motherfucking building. I got silver rice too, bitch. Destino, bitch, what up? Shout to my boy Naito. What's really good? You know what I'm saying? L I J, what up? You, you, you thought? You thought? No. Mm -mm. You thought, stop fucking thinking. I'm not sorry. But I apologize, but I don't mean it. <laughs> I apologize, but I don't mean it. Look, we are going to go some places. You and I, the show together. We're going to go some interesting places because the day was saved thanks to Silver Eyes. The greatest ship in the world, the other greatest ship in the world, an actual ship, a drill to pierce the heavens, a girl named after ice cream who can cloak shit, someone named Cinder Fell who has a fucking grimoire who's gonna fuck some shit up, and the motherfucking man 
It's making it's making gorilla monkeys and shit. Gorilla monkeys, gorilla grill monkeys, fly, bitch. Mm, and I'm just like, here, here is what, here is what I definitely appreciate for real about the whole episode. How legit shook, legit shook. Mercury and Emerald were. They was legitimately shook. Legit. Like, I, I'm like, but again, we we didn't see Emerald legit shook. Like it was her legit shook that 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 had allowed her to get away. So it's like you know what it is. But yo, it's true what they say. If you want some fucking done right, you do it your motherfucking self because. You really, because let, let me say this. When you have somebody like the man, like I'm finna make gorilla bear slug monkeys with wings and they finna fuck your shit up, you in trouble. And we talking deeper than deep, deep bar Simpson trouble. Y'all about to get fucked up. That's what's about to happen. Niggas finna be catching bunches of these. Why not whispering? I don't know. I just thought it was funny. But yeah. You see this? Team Ruby, Team June, whatever, whatever they call it. They said, what the, what the, we, yo, we the, we the do good squad from the, from the school that don't work no more. This is what the fuck y'all finna catch now. Get used to this. The 12th letter of the alphabet. Like, I don't care if Bumblebee the greatest ship in the world. The whole squad about to catch a motherfucking ale. Everybody catching these right here. You finna, all, all the man finna do is start delivering else. But then you have to legitimately wonder. That because the man is way up here and, you know, you got Ruby Rose in the squad like, hey, out here somewhere. Where do we get this? When does this happen? Like, when? Like, when does this happen? Like, what event has to take place in this show to bring the man down to a level? Because we already know the man can't be murdered. So your plan is going to either be... Freezing her in like some time space weird shit for all eternity and then you have something years later where like 10 generations you know the man gets out and, and Ruby great 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 granddaughter finna put in some work or some shit or they literally finna find some loophole to kill him probably have to do with that gold dragon god I'm just gonna go with that they gonna fuse the power of light and darkness um spoilers for um um what Digimon is that? Hold up, let me see. You got Adventure, Adventure 2. You got the Rika and Renamon show. What? Because that was the that was the Digimon after that. That was the one with everyone I didn't like. But it did give us Renamon. So it wasn't all bad. But I just can't think about what Digimon was it. Just know the light and dark will combine. That's a spoiler for that Digimon season. I can't think of the name. Um... That's going to haunt me like a motherfucker. For real. Hmm. Where's my phone? Because if I had my magical phone, which I'm now going to consult, because um, I want to know, because it's on the tip of my tongue, and, it, and it's going to piss me off if I don't get that information live. Because at this point, this is live television, and... We stopped giving a fuck long before this episode was written, so, you know. So, let's see. Let me see. Digimon Frontier. Thank you very much. Yep, that was season four where Steve Bloom was a fat little boy. You would think, like, that's what you remember? Steve Bloom was a fat little boy. He went from Gilmont to fat little boy who had crush on girl who ultimately paid him attention. Spoilers! That was JP, by the way. But, but regardless, we now know what Digimon season I'm referring to. The com combination of light and dark to something different. So, be watching for that in, like, what, chapter 35 or some shit? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, it'll be volume 35, blah, blah, blah. So... Let's review this episode one more time. In non, non song interlude, right? Neo and Sin Defender about to bring the fight with cloaking things. That's fine. 
today, Caroline Cordovan learned a word. It's called mutual motherfucking respect, right? Learn mutual respect for people because Ruby did her thing. And, and, and if nothing else... I am proud of the strides made by one Ruby Rose to really and to continue Ross as a leader because not because the show needs her to for plot reasons, but because for Ruby Rose, the character that I personally believe in as a character is that she rose to the occasion. I took, where is it? This not champagne bottle, champagne bottle. Did that. Bumblebees free boys and girls and attack helicopters and if they did in them Bumblebee motherfucker Destino What up? Shout again my boy Night though. Bumblebee Now what? Where, 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 where's your ship list now? Where, where's your shell ship list now? Ship is canon Let's do it Do it <laughs> Okay I'm good for the Okay, so, uh-huh, 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 ship. Okay, um, what else? Um, squad made to Atlas. That's cool. The man's pissed. Ls. More motherfucking else. At this time, I would like to do what I always do when it's time to close out Ruby for the season. Got a special little song I'd like to sing. And if you know the word. I'd like you to join in, sing it, sing it loud, sing it proud, because it's just what we do. Elves, 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 catching elves. The man's pissed off, you bout to catch these elves. She got these gorilla bear slug monkeys with fucking wings. So why didn't you think you was gonna catch some elves? Mm, uh, uh. Elves, 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 catching elves. I'm about to catch an L. You think you winning? No, you're going to catch an L. Cussing the NEO on the case. So you're going to catch some L some more. So catch youth and a motherfucking L. Uh, 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 uh. Elves, 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 catching elves. Come on, everybody sing now. Everybody catching fucking elves. Then the vibe thought he was going to get away, but then survived and the drill got you. Piercing them motherfucking heavens, catching an L. Come on, one more time. Else, 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 catching else. Oh, oh, oh. But now you finna catch me the W. Cause while my ship is shipping and your ship ain't doing shit, but we'll be gang for life, nigga, catching else. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the L saw the motherfucker. Classic bitch! Look! This has been a wonderful, wonderful volume for Ruby while it's hot as fuck in the lab because it's really hot down there. I should probably turn on this fan. And I will do that. Like, right now, I will do that. Um, I will also safely take a drink, because I will do that. <laughs> mm. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Okay, I really didn't give myself much of a segue here. I'm going to segue myself out of this Ruby bag. Hmm. Oh, um, something, something, Oscar the Niglet Farmer, and something, something, Ospin, Oscar the Niglet Farmer, or something, I don't know. Well, kids, this has been a wonderful episode of Ruby. Great volume all the way through. People won. Mo Els was caught. Mo Els will continue to get caught and catch Jorge Posada. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know about that. Mike Piazza shit. You about to catch Mike Piazza L's. You get it? Because he was a catcher in Major League Base. 99% of you are going to watch don't even know who the fuck Mike Piazza is. You're going you gonna to hear me say this before we get to this part. And you're going to pause the video and Google who the fuck that nigga is. That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> but seriously, yo. Thank you everybody involved with Ruby. Another round of applause, man. Good good stuff, good stuff. Whether you agree or disagree or whatever. Yeah, you know what? I am going to say this. It is still and continued a damn motherfucking shame. Monty Ohm is in here to see his creation thrive like this. Knowing that we got more Blade Blue Cross Tag Battle on the way. 
and the the wonderful that that can provide when it comes to what we're talking about, that makes me feel good. Depending on what or how you believe, looking down upon us, if energy still around, permeating through these things that we love. I should just go watch Dead Fantasy and Haloid. I've been meaning to actually do that. Long story though, but don't worry about it. But look, let's go and close this one out. If you needed a reminder of who I am, just in case you knew and you just strolled in, I am the one and the only to triple the GOD, aka your uncle triple. You are live right here on Team GRF TV where we do whatever, whenever, and however, because that's what we do. And those same three fingers, we also ask you to sit back, relax, and stay tuned, because you know we got more crack for you. We do. We, we, we For research, we got more crack, so... Just be back later when there's more crack. That's all you got to do because I've been playing the crack and crack on cup. Because all I do is serve things. You don't know? Man, I'm the greatest dope man in the history of dope. You know what I mean? Like, I thought you knew. You thought it was just, I was gaming number one dope man. No, I'm just a dope man, period. Because all I do is put work out. <laughs> Look, we got more show for you. We've got it for you right after these commercial messages. <laughs> Still the best able laugh in the business, don't you, though? Ruby, thank you for another shot. Appreciate it. Mo L getting caught in volume seven, boys and girls. Regardless of that, bang! More show after these commercial messages.